We out here in these streets, y'all. About to go get that COVID shot. Uh, I really don't want to uh, get the shot, but can't go no goddamn way. September we met, I could tell by your smile, you hadn't been with a good girl like me in a while, yeah you were impressed, couldn't leave me alone, text me every time, that you pick up the phone, and I had control in the driver's seat, but my hands are slipping off the wheel, now the tables have turned. You can't go nowhere without it. I mean, simple, simple places now. You can't go nowhere without it. So, fuck it. We don't like I'm not, in the house. I'm not. We like going places. Yeah, I'm not about to be confined to my apartment. So, it is what it is. Scratch that. It's huh? the, the door where I put my hand in, little scratches from where, you know, my nails. Oh. Hold on. Okay. Okay, after I give it a shot, you want to wait outside for about 10 or 15 minutes just to make sure you're okay. Um, the way I administer the shot, I kind of pinch your muscle and give it a shot pretty quick. Okay. All right, what side would you like? Right or left? Um, right. All right, okay. Ugh. <laughs> Gosh, I'm scared of needles. It's all right. I hate needles. Have your face in it. Relax your shoulder. There you go. Ready? Mm -hmm. Into a small pinch. Thank you. Welcome. Let me give you your card and all your paperwork. Okay. Okay. Uh, hate needles. Mm -hmm. So when you come back, you just bring this and your ID. Okay. And okay. Check it at the other window the same way you did today. Okay. Thank you very much. You can hold the door. Just hold it. All right. So now we about to. Let me shut it down. Let me just run it. We got to stop. We got to stop my bed. Decent yeah, so we're we're leaving. We have to come back in 21 days to take the second shot. Yeah, like I said, uh, I was expecting some big old needles, some pain. I didn't feel a thing. I mean, I'm so glad. But they say the second one is worse. I don't know why. But, um, I don't know. I could, I could feel it. I could feel the, the, the needle in my in my arm. You do? Yeah. Now? Yeah. The little pinch that she gave. I could still feel it. Oh, man. 
I mean, I'm not feeling any pain, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like, after effects. I'm just feeling from when she gave me the shot. What do you know that? I don't know. I'm looking mad. I look mad pale. Really? Huh? We don't know. It's, I don't it's know. four o'clock. It'll take us two hours to get out there right now in traffic. I need to go early. So. I'm going early in the morning because everybody be at work. So where you want to go home? No, I don't want to go home. Oh, you want to go to Five Town? Yeah, we go there. Because I need some more deodorant being at the airport through mines in the garbage. Yeah. Yeah, oh, let me tell you, seconds. we went to Texas um, for a funeral uh, a few weeks ago, and we on the plane. I mean, we're we're, we're um, going through security, and I had a, a big jar of Vaseline um, that mm -hmm. I didn't even open yet. I had my deodorant that was brand new. I had toothpaste, a big tube of toothpaste that wasn't used, brand new, and um, some some gel and stuff like that for the hair and all this. I had a few things, brand new. They made us throw all of that shit in the garbage, like for real, for real. Like all I'm sitting, standing there, like wait a minute, I didn't even use this stuff. I just bought this stuff. Toothpaste, all of the stuff. I just bought this stuff. And you telling me I can't take it on? They telling me it was too big to, to carry on the plane. Mind you, I brought it there. I brought it with me from JFK. There was no issue. Coming back from Texas, it was an issue. I'm like, this don't make no sense. So now all this brand new stuff and and I'm saying I'm saying to m myself and I'm saying to my husband like all they're gonna do they ain't gonna throw this shit in the garbage they're gonna use this shit cause it's brand spanking new it's never used they can see that it's brand new they're not throwing this shit all this yeah, shit huh yeah, that's what's yeah and that's until cool. everything yeah. they put it all in the garbage pail and then they divvy it that, that shit up yeah they probably do do that later they put it all in the bag, and then later on, they all but get in the room. Yeah, and because of COVID, they might not. No, it's brand new. If it had been used, they don't know that till they yeah, open it. Yeah, but boo, you could see it in the um the thing when they when you flip up the Vaseline, you could see it's clean straight across. It's still, you know, I mean, it hasn't been used because the minute get, but saying. either way it goes, they go through your shit. I don't care what nobody say. They go through your shit. They see what's new, what's not. If it's new, they divvy it up. Anybody need this? Anybody need? You want this? You want that? And they take that shit home. I was so pissed because I'm like, people ain't got money to just be throwing away like that. You know what I'm saying? It, it don't make no sense because it's too big. What is going to do? It's, it's in your bag. It ain't bothering nobody. It's just sitting there. What is it going to do? Anyway, that's, that's another story for another time. But anyway, I'm looking pale as fuck. I look pale. I wonder if you'd have had it in your pocket. I look, like, I look like Halloween pale. Huh? Like, huh? So I wonder if you would have had it in your pocketbook if they would have said anything. They probably would have because I'd have still had to carry it on the plane. I'm trying to know. What's the difference? Above the plane, bottom of the plane, still on the freaking plane. Huh. They they on they on the next level bullshit. Because remember that ain't that wasn't JFK, that was the airport in, in Houston. So they on some next level dumb shit. Anyway, but right, so we left. We're on our way to Long Island to do some some little little bit of shopping, replace the the stuff that we had to throw out. So I'll catch you when we get there, y'all.